Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Cross Lake, Minnesota, where we find a sovereign citizen at a traffic stop who has just been pulled over for speeding. But the strange thing is, he's actually cooperating up until the point the officer smells some illicit substances coming from his vehicle. And then the soft tard uh, games begin. Of which the soft tard is not exactly equipped to handle it. And he gets arrested, his vehicle towed, and uh, all sorts of goodies are found in his vehicle. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. <laughs> David, Paul, Paul, 761, Connor uh, 3 and Falcon Beach Road. At 303, 100 crashed on the license plate is David Robert Paul. Never. Hello. Go on. Good. Yourself? Not bad. They really want to stop you for speeding. You're about 65 miles an hour. It's 3 minutes 55. What's that? I pulled over. I said, "Yeah, pulled over." So. Yeah, I was going to talk to you about that too. I, uh, we prefer as law enforcement not for you to pull over until we signal you with the lights because uh, people pull over in really bad spots sometimes. And uh, you know, I wasn't getting your license plate back because this is stuck with a little bit of snow that's stuck oh. to the front of it. So I ran that when I called out the dispatch, wrong one came back. So uh, that gives me time to to see if you know. Who I'm stopping, or if this vehicle's associated with something Makes not sense. good. Yeah, so. 9 4 to 9 4. It is so out of character for a sovereign citizen to just pull over after speeding uh, without the lights coming on beforehand, but. But I guess you're just one of those one in a million softards who actually tries to follow the law somewhat. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, we shall soon see that you're not exactly 100% legit. 23 for the... Give it that back. All right. Is the uh, Schaefer Road your current address, Mike? Is, yes. All right. Can you do me a favor step out for me, please? For what? Because I'm going to search your vehicle. I can smell marijuana coming from it. No, I do not have to search your vehicle. Here, you see these? Yeah. I'm the supervisor. Okay. 303 oh, 100. Give, give me another car, please. Right. Yeah, I don't need you to get, sir, get okay. set. Yes, I do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Uh, sorry, dude. Uh, yeah, uh, he has probable cause to search your vehicle for marijuana, considering it is considered to be a controlled substance in the state of Minnesota. So, uh, you might want to back off on that one. I'm not going to ask you. What's your What's your RAS? Okay, I'm not going to ask you again, okay? RAS? Dude, I know you're not going to accept it, but his RAS is the fact that he can smell it coming out of your vehicle. Excuse me? What's your RAS? Do you even know what you're talking about? Yes, no, you, you don't. Know. Step out of the vehicle no, for me, please. No, step out. I refuse to okay. step out. Because this, you know why, sir? You have no right to take me out of my vehicle for a traffic stop. 
I guess. I see your unarticulated jibber jabber and raise you Pennsylvania versus Mims. Considering it is not unreasonable for the officer to ask you to exit the vehicle in this case, you moron. Smell marijuana in your vehicle? Smell and that is in my car. Yes, I can. No, you can't. And that is no, probable cause to search the it truck. It is not probable cause. Okay, this is going to one of two ways. And you need to understand this. It's going to be more than one of two ways, sir. No, nope, you're going to get more cars out here because yep. you are violating my constitutional okay. rights. This is what's going to happen. You are violating my constitutional rights. Keep your hands where I can see them. Yep, I'm just going to get my video okay. out. That's all. This is what's going to happen. I'm just going to videotape this, and that's all there is to that. Because I am not, not doing this. I'll tell you what. Are you listening to me? This I is what's going to happen. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna comply. You no right. You're gonna comply with what I ask you to There's do, no or you're right gonna that. go to jail for obstructing. Okay? There is no obstruction of secondary crime, sir. You're violating my constitutional rights. You're no, I'm violating not. Violating my constitutional You have no rights. idea what your constitutional I have no rights are. Cause for you, dude. Okay? You are violating my constitutional rights right now. Have I? You are violating my constitutional rights. What's sir. my closest card? You are violating my constitutional rights. I have done nothing wrong. There's no reasonable suspicion of a crime has been committed. And that's that. You have no reason to ask me to get out of my car. I have a valid driver's license, valid insurance. And what is your reason, sir? Okay, the reason for the stop was your speeding, which you admitted you were doing, okay? I didn't admit to anything. Well, you told me you, you realized you, you realized. The the road, okay. That's the reason for the stop, okay? You didn't stop me. I was out on the side of the road, sir. Okay, I, I stopped you because you were speeding. I was sitting on the side of the road with my hazards on, sir. Okay. Well, there's going to be another car that's going to come here, and then we're going to remove you from the vehicle, okay? So you can either step out willingly and, and, and cooperate with me, or it's, it's going to go a completely different way, all right? It's completely different way because that's against my constitutional okay. rights. Okay. Keep your hands up on the steering wheel. Keep your other hand on the steering wheel where I can see it. My hands are clear. I'm not any threat to you, sir. Put, put both your hands on the steering wheel. Okay. But you are violating my constitutional rights. I have a valid driver's license, valid insurance. You have no probable cause to get me out of the vehicle for any reason whatsoever. You can act like a broken record all you want, but it still does negate the fact that you are absolutely wrong, dude. I mean, I can go on and on about how uh, traffic laws were not in the Constitution, so therefore you're not being violated right there. And uh, drug laws weren't exactly in the Constitution either, so you're not being violated right there. Uh, so is there anything else that you want to pull up? I mean... Uh, you could always look up the Tenth Amendment, which grants the states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution. So, you know what? You're still going to be wrong no matter what you do, because you are a complete idiot. No. No reason whatsoever. What is your RAS? What's your reasonable... I'm you way past RAS. Okay. Your facts, I'm your way facts. past reasonable, Where's articulable facts? suspicion. I am to the point of probable cause. You do not have probable cause. I can smell vehicle. marijuana in your vehicle, and, and that is probable that. cause to search your vehicle. Marijuana, sir. Okay. That's how you guys come into cars for unlawful searches okay. and seizures, sir. Right. Well, and persons of seizures. I consent to no purchase or personal searches whatsoever. Well, I'm not asking for your consent. You have to have my consent. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I do not. You do have to have my consent. Okay. No, I don't. I'm not going to argue with you about it, okay? You, too, sir. you have to have my consent to search my vehicle. Okay. Uh, dude, uh, he would be right if he didn't have any probable cause, but seeing as how, uh, there is the, apparently the smell of marijuana coming out of your vehicle. He does have probable cause under Minnesota law to do so, you dumbass. Okay, you have to. You're not coming in here. There's nothing in here anyway, but you're not coming in here. So, that's that. Get a warrant. I'm not getting a warrant. You're I'm going to search your vehicle. You can't get a warrant. You don't have no right to search my vehicle. Okay. You have no right. You on probation, Mike? No. Nope. You're not? Nope. So what's in the vehicle that, that you won't allow me, uh, that, that you don't want me to come in or you're not going to cooperate? Huh? Destroyed by tyrants, okay? What's that? My home was destroyed by tyrants, so I'm not allowed to enter. Well, your home had a bunch of drugs in it, nope. that's for sure. I didn't have any in it, actually. Okay. So, there you go. You guys are going to be paying millions for this one. Mm -hmm. Millions on Okay, well then you might as well just cooperate and step out because my head's getting cold, my hands are getting cold, and uh... Out of my vehicle, I can send you okay. a search and a secret, sir. 
Well, I'm not asking for your consent. I'm, I'm ordering you out of the vehicle, okay? So what's going to happen when another officer gets here? That's the same thing. So tell me what's going to happen when another I'm officer gets here. I'm not getting out of my vehicle. Okay. Tell me what crime I've committed. Okay. You were speeding. Okay. So okay. you write me a ticket. No. And then when I, I come up to your vehicle, I uh, my my probable cause to search your vehicle is odor of marijuana you emitted from your vehicle. That's yep. what everybody says. Odor of yep. marijuana. Everybody's car smells like marijuana. Do you realize when you smoke marijuana and you have marijuana in your vehicle, it smells like marijuana? Smoker. Do you realize that? I have a smoke marijuana, Okay. Sir. Regardless, that's what I'm doing. So I'm asking you, what's going to happen when another officer gets here? Nothing. I'm no, I'm going to ask you to get out of the vehicle. No, you're not. I, I refuse. Three or three, whatever. You need more than one car. Probably two. I refuse to any searches and seizures, sir. We are live too on Facebook, so we're here. I know my name is I am a Massachusetts, and you have no right to ask me to get out of my vehicle, and I've done nothing wrong okay. over a zip. Obviously, you violation. don't know it. I have the right to travel as it is. Obviously, you don't. License. Oh, you're one of those now? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm one of those people. Yeah, you're one of those people, a softard who says they have the right to travel even though ha they have no idea what that means. I mean, come on now, dude, you do have the right to travel. I mean, it's just the method of travel, such as driving, that has restrictions placed on it, which uh, the states are allowed to do per the Tenth Amendment. So, so th what, what's this then? Oh, that's just when I'm in commerce, sir. Huh? That's when I'm in commerce, I have that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. See? Okay. Oh, yes, we are. I never was, but now I am because I see what the pirate is going on the pool today. You know what? You're not violating any of my constitutional rights. No, I'm not going to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what I. I'm gonna property. do what I am person, allowed sir. to do by a law. Okay? This is my so. property and my person, sir. So you have no right to come in my vehicle. I've done nothing wrong. You got no suspicion of crime has been committed, except for a simple traffic violation. And that's that. I gave you my information. I suggest you bring it. I am legal. Let's we'll be on our day. That's that. Two sixty four. What's your twenty? How far? I'm facing northbound. You should roll up right in front of it, please. Mr. Daly. And Mr. Daly, I'm listen. Drug out of the car for no reason. Listen to me. So I'm going to ask. Listen. Not, listen to me. Can you listen to me, please? Listen to me, please. Okay. I'm going to ask you one more time to step out of your vehicle. Okay. If you don't step out, we're going to remove you from your vehicle. Do you understand that? From my vehicle, you will lose your qualified immunity, and I will see you guys. 
Uh, dude, uh, those threats never work, uh, so try something else that may actually work. Uh, I mean, get some original material, dude. Do you understand that? You understand me? Are you going to get all... No. And, be, and cooperate or not? Can you turn your truck off for me, please? Will you turn your truck off, please? Sir. Okay, this is my property. Can you turn your truck you off, please? You have no right to search me, sir. You have no right to search me. Can you turn your truck off, please? You have no right to search me. Okay. Step out of the vehicle, please. No, sir. You have no right to search me. If you don't step out, you're going to get maced, okay? Hey, sir, you know what? If you mace me, what? I am not... I am not giving you guys any trouble whatsoever. Look out, Mike. Look out, Mike. Hey, I'm not giving you guys any trouble whatsoever. What the fuck, man? This is a violation, dude. Get out of the Look car. at this. Dude, Get out of are the you car. a supervisor? Really? And that's where I'm going to call it at right there because the, uh, the other videos on here are quite long, including the... Uh, tow truck portion and even the search if you want to watch all that i will be happy to leave links in the description box below but anyway this guy was just a complete and total idiot moron or whatever the hell you want to call him i mean uh, just another soft tart who just thinks he knows the law but well just can't quite make it there so at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.